Hello everybody once again, this is Aqua Cousin and welcome back to another video here. I have some friends playing Moon Arthur 2 and I played MA1 myself so I did try out MA2 when it was out but I couldn't record it because it was effing up in blue stacks but now I'm using the Droid 4X to record and yep Droid 4X apparently can run Moon Arthur 2 easily which means I can record videos which means I can upload onto YouTube which means I can get more people that knows me that actually play Bloodline because of me or play any other mobile games that I recommend to them to try out MA2 as well because I think they need some boost in their player base because there are stuff that you can do like multi-player quest which is very awesome here but now my inventory is full. In any case, yep, I'm gonna be doing one MA video for those who are actually playing this game right now. So, and for those who do not know about this game uh, and are thinking about trying to play, alright, or thinking about playing it. You can use this as a first impressions video to decide if you want to. Of course, as always, then answer to beautiful music. Alright, let's turn that up a bit. Just let you hear more. Ten out of ten voice acting, guys. And you can click on her as well. Look at that. Alright, let's not do that. That's pretty awkward. Alright, turn the music down. So I'm going to do right now to start off... Uh, my video with a, a gacha. Alright, we're gonna do some gachas. These are free ones that you can actually get at the start. So you actually get a starter gacha, which is a free uh, 11 pool or 11 draws, and you're sure to get two, if I'm not wrong, two ultra rares. But my starter pool apparently is shit, and you can actually re roll to, to try and do your luck over again, but I'm not doing that. So, and after that, you can actually get 30 gems, which is quite easy to get. I got 26. Uh, from just finishing the, the tutorial and stuff and I got 5 more by re referring a friend I'm actually on stream right now so I referred a friend and I got plus 5 gems so I have 30 so you can do 11 booster gacha draws with 15 gems uh, the original uh, cost is 50 crystals or uh, not, not gems, 50 crystals 5-0 right now your first draw is only 1-5 and then the next one is like 30 I think and then after that is the normal 50 uh, for each draw so I'm going to do the booster gacha and the wind spin gacha which is both for 15 crystals each and see my luck hopefully there is some streamer buff here I'm going to do the booster one first to see what we get and here goes okay it's not 15 to 30 it's 15, 25, uh, 50 as my chat tells me I think I just got a medium rare oh boy I think this is something that someone I think the advance got it this is good this is good Oh wait, no, it's ultra rare, it's not million rare, okay. <laughs> but apparently my stream chat is going crazy, I think I need to bring my stream chat up. Let's just bring it up real quick. <laughs> they are so mad, guys, they are so mad. They are so mad right now. <laughs> First turn drawn of arc, guys, get hyped. Get hyped. Alright, let's see what's our next one. Okay, I don't think this is very good, this is just super rare. Oh, and another ultra rare, but it's Claire again. I think Claire is not too good, right? Alright. Another super rare, it's a knight. Oh, Dina Dunn. I think Dina Dunn, they type it in the chat as well. <laughs> My chat is going crazy. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> is this Nina Claire? <gasps> oh god. Okay, I got a useless one. Uh, 3 star Bernard. Bernard. Oh, look at this guy! So cute! Unique little grey! Alien life! Woo! <laughs> Malagant... How's what? What? Malagant? Malagant, guys. I got Supporter, Ether. It's a Raid Knight. The cards look extremely good as always. And we got Mark. Another 4 star. Another 3 star. Godfrey! You have reached the max retention limit. Cards will not be sent to the gift box. Oh shit. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, according to my chat, alright, I think I got pretty good stuff. Nathan into Lawless is confirmed. <laughs> is Kazu becoming a bard? Burner is OP for now, you need to sell stuff. Okay, what do I sell? Can I use my cards for leveling though? Okay, let me, let me change the chat box. I don't think this is a good spot. Let me put it here. I think it's better. Not that you guys can see anything. Alright, we actually have one more gacha, but we have no space. So, what we're gonna do now is we need to go sell stuff. Hi. So, you need to sell stuff for, you can use the EXP folder, okay, which is the EXP folder. I'm actually due to this game, so my chat is helping me out right now. 
Okay. Level up, right? This is level up, guys. Sell your excess 1 star and 2 star cards. Oh, okay. You can use menu. Okay. So which are the... 1 star, this this is 1 star, right? This is 1 star, right? Brown is 1 star? Level up, sell dupes. I'm so confused right now. I'm very scared to sell something wrong. Am I selling it okay? Am I selling it right? I think I'm selling it right, right? The blue one is 2 stars. The brown border extras. Yeah, these are extras. So I think this should be fine. Yes, yes. Okay. Brown border extras. But this one's in my deck though. This guy, I guess. Alright, I think we sold enough. We sold enough, guys. Alright! Alright, let's Hi. take our extra cards first. Receive all. Let's play the base. Bear with me, guys. I'm sorry for being a scrub. Okay, let me just check if I have enough slots first. I think that was the wrong thing to press. Uh, I think we'll go sell again. Because in the sell option, I can see how many cards I have. Okay, 15. I have enough slots. So, let's get our win gacha, you guys. Godfrey is important. Okay, okay let's go to win gacha. I don't think I'm going to be... Oh, wait. Okay, let's go. Oh, That's a good sign, right? Okay, nope. <laughs> I thought that was like the thing to show you that you got something good. <laughs> Alright, I remember this this girl from MA1, I think. Supporter Blonde. Okay. Another Dina Dan. Double Dina Dance. 3 star. Got this one just now. I don't expect myself to be so lucky, so. Is this good? Out of us or rank? Sounds good. Looks good as well. Oh, we got this cute little guy again! Woo! Woo! We got Irek. Irek. Alright, I think that's a bet. At least we got one ultra rare, right? Yeah, at least we got one ultra rare. Alright. Nathan is totally into lollies. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know why you think I'm into lollies. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay. Alright, with the new decks, we can boost our gameplay right now. So we're gonna show you guys some gameplay. Alright, we're gonna do some solo quest. Alright. If there are enemies who boost physical damage in battle, we need to take them down first. Okay. There's actually a special. Oh wait, I need to go to my deck first. I need to auto deck again. My bad. My bad. So let's go to my cards or uh, deck. So I'm gonna auto deck again. Mm, it didn't put in my best cards though, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. I think it did. Now we are rank A! I used to be rank B, so I think we're doing fine. And my cards are all level 1, I think. You can actually level up your cards by itself, but I've not done it yet. So my cards are pretty trash right now. But I don't think you need good cards right now at the start, usually in the beginning. This is just after the tutorial, so... ME2, ME2 tutorial is pretty long, actually. So... You can bring friends. Okay, so the unique thing about uh, Minion Arthur, right, is you can do multiplayer, real-time multiplayer uh, partying. Like, you can team up with three friends, and... If you realize, right, let me just explain some of the basic stuff. There's a cost below, so I shouldn't auto this, actually. So again, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 elements, light, dark, fire, earth, and water. So you can see how they counter each other uh, on the top right corner. Okay. I just don't speak when I'm fighting because it's a bit loud. So there's a cost. So you get one increased cost. Uh, every round is a bit like Hearthstone. So there's one of the mechanics and of course your better cards is gonna be five cost. Look at this. Five cost you can't use her yet. So this one is two and it deals more. Oh, it's gonna kill it anyway, so let's just use this. 
Oh, this is actually a buff. Doesn't matter, I should use a buff. So there are buff cards, there are damage cards, and there's a lot of strategy involved according to Aceus. I think my chat is in a bad spot. Okay, let me just change it, put it here now. It's actually too big. So S equals self, P equals physical, M equals magic, and I equals enemy debuff. Alright, I'm learning new stuff every day. So you can see that there are letters on each of the cards. So you guys can see my mouse, right? Okay, I'm clicking on this card right now. You see the P, right? So there's P, 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 P. So there's all physical damage cards here. And grass type is quite vulnerable to fire. So we use this guy and we can select this girl and start. And you can actually do chains to get this. There's three chains because uh, two of my party members was using a fire card as well. So we get a three chains and chains do more damage basically. If I'm not wrong. So when you actually do uh, really hard stuff like dragons. Uh, apparently it's like dragons. This is the monster you kill right now and it's like open. There's a timing window where it opens and then you can party with three other guys to fight dragons. That's like normal hell or normal heart and hell and heart and... Hell was actually very hard to do, I saw Aces battling it previously. So, yep. Some of the basic stuff going on. But again, the music, the graphics, and the effects are very good. And most importantly, when you actually uh, fight those monster raid stuff, right, it will actually be in 3D. Like, there are some monster raids where your character will actually come out. And the reason why I'm trying MA2 was because I saw a video of Someone using Saber, but but, but apparently uh, Southeast Asia's or Singapore slash Malaysia Million Arthur 2 is based off the Korea version and we do not know yet, but most likely there might not be Saber. So right now as you can see, I don't have enough cost. So I have no choice but to pass right now because I only have 3 costs. And every time you go to the next wave, your cost resets to the lowest amount. So, yep. And there are different classes that you can play as. I am playing as a... Is it a warrior? What do you call this guy? They are like merchants and then they are bards as well. So they're like different classes for your main character and that's another dimension of mechanics or strategy added to the game as well. Alright, I have four costs. I can use this or this. Teammate has one green, we have one dark. I'm gonna use this to kill the grass type guy. Oh, mercenary, merchant, which is millionaire and two. So three different classes I guess. Alright, it's grass. Apparently it's not earth, it's grass. No, it's earth. Alright, so it's earth. <laughs> hey, in Bloodline, I call the the green color grass. It's like, okay, no. Blame, blame it on Pokemon. Alright, blame it on Pokemon. Oh, we level up again. And you get stuff at the end. This one is to sell to get gold and then a lot of different cards. Most of the two star cards or above can be get uh, upgraded or evolved or level. I don't know what's the word to use to get to to five stars. So, oh shit, that's a challenge. Uh oh. Oh, I think that's the next stage. We will just do one more stage. And yep, that should be it for the end of the video. Go check it out. I need to sell cards again. Always no space, man. I need to sort out my my deck. I think. Uh, let's sell the gold ones again, this one. I believe the blue one is EXP, if I remember correctly. They are the cherry EXP cards, right? Let me just sell some uh, duplicates. This one's in deck, okay. This one's in deck as well. Sell the max thing, they are useless. Oh. But it's in deck. Are you sure they're all useless? I don't make a mistake. Am I getting trolled here? Am I getting trolled? Alright, okay, I'm gonna sell it. Oh, they're useless. I got trolled once yesterday, so I'm quite scared today. Wait, let me redo my deck again. Real quick. Okay. How, how do you change class? I don't think. Can you change class now? 
Anyway, I redid my deck, so let's go. Let's just do one more. I think Aces got Nimue, right? How do you change this girl? How come you guys got a uh, different girl? It, it must you get a card, then you can change to a different girl. Like I saw Aces streaming with a different girl. Change by swapping the character. Swap the character. Oh, you mean this one, right? Okay, later. Later! Alright, we're just gonna auto this. So you unlock auto once you hit like, I think level 5 or something. So I think the fun part about MA2 is about playing it with friends. And you can also play in public parties, which is also quite interesting. To see how some public parties can actually work. And you can actually see here that compared to MA1, for those who actually play MA1 right, MA1 involves a, a, a lot of willing, right? There'll be some special monster that you meet. And then you have friends who can try to damage that special monster and the person that last hits or kills the monster has a higher chance or double the chance to get a cut or something, I can't remember. But basically, ME1 wasn't very free to play uh, friendly. Absolutely not free to play friendly, I would actually put it that way. But ME2, which is what they call KSRMA, if I get it correct, KSRMA, uh, it's actually a lot more free to play friendly. At least they give you three... Uh, 3, 11, free gachas. I know in MA1 they give you a lot of free gacha cards and kind of stuff, but it's, I think you can only summon one by one. They get free gacha cards, but it's not the 10 plus 1 kind of thing, so... And the rates were pretty bad. Yeah, the rates were pretty bad. Back then in MA1, so... Oh, this boss looks interesting. Alright, let's not auto this. So fire side! We have not enough cost though, we have to pass. Poor thing. KRSMA, yep. ME1 gacha is trash, 100% shit. There you go, guys. But it's very different in MA2. So, for those expecting the same rates in MA2, uh, MA, I mean, MA2's rates is, you can see from my, I guess, that it's a lot better. Can we, should we, should we try to destroy the sword to get more drops? Is that the go to right now? And it seems like the sword is casting something special. Destroy the sword for bonus loot, alright, guys. Loving the graphics and how Droid 4X is actually so good. There's no lag. That's the best part. Double chain. Oh wow. So cool. We almost we almost destroyed it. Alright. I think I'm too strong right now. But this is the beginning stuff, I guess. Okay. The thing is grass is not good, so. Let's do this. Because one of them use uh, use the same card as me. Oh wow, red, red guys! I don't even need to use my card. Look at the explosion, man! So beautiful. Oh, bonus quest get! You have received the reward for clearing a first quest. Oh cool! More gems, guys! Level up again. Got a 3 star cut. Legit 3 star cut. And there's affinity draw as well, so. I'm not too sure what you can get in affinity draw. That card is important for your class, okay. And I think there's a lot of mechanics that have not freaked out, you know, that kind of stuff. For sure. How about using it in a battle? Okay. But yeah, guys, don't want to make this video too long. Check out MA2 if you want to. It is out for Android and iOS, I think, for about two weeks or longer. My name has been Aqua Kazu. Thanks for watching once again. Share this video with your friends if uh, they want to have an idea of first impressions on KRSMA. Alright, guys, thanks for watching once again. God bless. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Good night, guys, and goodbye.